Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness. God is good. All the time. Glory to God. Just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh my goodness. Just such a blessing. Amen. To just know how much God loves you. Can I get an amen? It, 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 it just changes your life for all of eternity when you know how much God loves you. Hallelujah. And yes, there is a name to that love. And his name is the name above every name. Hallelujah. His name is the eternal name. Amen. His name, hallelujah. Say it with me, beloved church family. Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. When you look upon Lord Jesus Christ, there is no question as far as how much Father God loves you. How much God loves me. Amen. But the beauty of our Lord Jesus Christ is that he did not just come to do a perfect work to fulfill every requirement. Remember this past Sunday what Holy Spirit taught us, right? To redeem a coupon, you have to meet all those expectations, correct? And Lord Jesus Christ, he exceeded every expectation because he spoke those words into existence. Because remember, Lord Jesus Christ is the beginning and is the end. Amen? He has always been with the Father. Our God is who we call agape. Amen? And our Father knows that we bless Him because who is agape? Hallelujah. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen? And it's in this anointing that God blesses us with fresh, fresh life-changing revelation. A fresh anointing, we like to call it. Just His presence flowing through a beloved child of God. Amen? That God loves you so much that here's Lord Jesus Christ. But Lord Jesus Christ did not just fulfill everything and say, all right, bye, peace, right? See ya. No. Lord Jesus Christ is so merciful, so perfect, so forgiving, so loving, so encouraging, hallelujah, that he left us his peace. Amen. And that is the inheritance, the impartation. Glory to God. And that impartation comes only through the Holy One. Amen. You have to call upon Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ, I make you Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. You are my Lord and my Savior. Father, forgive me, Father God. I receive you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And it's in that prayer. However you prayed, beloved of God, it was a perfect prayer. When you called on the name of Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, just like that, Holy Spirit moved on the inside. Amen. And it's this, say it with me, impartation. It's this impartation from Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That the Father sends in his breath. Holy Spirit resides now in you and in me for all of eternity. And this is why Open Arms Community Church, we are called God's holy church, his holy body, amen? We are all brothers and sisters, one body, members of the body of Lord Jesus Christ. And we are united, hallelujah, in that impartation of Holy Spirit, amen? Say his name with me, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit. Glory to God. Let's pray, amen? Father, I thank you so much. Father, we eternally thank you and glorify you. Father, you have all the glory through Christ our Lord. Thank you for your perfect sacrifice. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you saved us, that you are perfect, and you are the only one worthy of all of our praise. And Holy Spirit, we know when we lift up the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, your presence, your anointing, you teach us, Holy Spirit. We don't go through any man, only you, Lord Jesus Christ. We don't look unto anyone, only unto you, Lord Jesus Christ. And Father God, right now as we worship you, we boldly ask you, Father God, for wisdom. We thank you, Father, for your blood that was spilled. And we thank you, Father God, that you live in us. And it's in Jesus Christ's name that we pray. And all God's beloved said, 
Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Praise God. Give somebody a high five. Hallelujah. If you're by yourself, give yourself a high five. Amen. And don't forget the angels. Hallelujah. The angels, they love high fives. Praise God. I want every angel that Lord Jesus Christ has for us. Hallelujah. I want them all. Amen. Praise God. I know who I'm speaking with. I know. Amen. We want them all because praise God, God knows we need help. Amen. Say it with me. Help me, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Help me, Father. Sometimes we just get too caught up being religious. Sometimes we get too caught up being, you know, holy and righteous where God is just saying, ask me. Amen. Ask me. Praise God. And let's just do that right now. Let's just do that in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we ask you for help. Father, we ask you for provision. Father, we ask you for wisdom. Father God, we ask for your presence overflowing from within. Father, we ask for healing, Father. Father God, we ask for peace. Oh, Father God, we ask for your anointing, Father God. Father, we ask for your presence. We just want to bless your presence, Father, to say thank you. And it's in Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. So Holy Spirit asks as far as for this worship service that we continue on as far as with what Holy Spirit taught us in the inheritance. Now remember, in order to get the inheritance, there has to be a sacrifice. Amen. And Lord Jesus Christ demonstrated that in his crucifixion. Amen. In his death. That in order for me to leave you something, I have to die. And the glory of Holy Spirit is, Holy Spirit is saying, yes, that is the gospel, amen? That is important. However, Holy Spirit also taught us, do you die in Christ? Amen? Now, I want us to take that moment right there to truly meditate and reflect on our life right now. Have I died with Christ? Amen? You see, we're rebuking all religion, we're rebuking all theology, we're rebuking all these things that, right, that's all man-made, and we're going straight to our Father. Father God, have I died in you? Because right there, Holy Spirit will get a hold of you and me and show us, amen? Expose the enemy, hallelujah. Remember, when His light shines, agape! Amen. When his light is shining through you, amen, through me, through the church family, hallelujah, through his church, all the different churches across the world that worship Father God in spirit and in truth, amen. Who is the truth? Who is the way? Who is the life? Amen. We discussed that, right? John 14, 6. But God is asking us, have you sacrificed? Have you made that offering? Amen. And the glory of God is today is a new day. Praise God. Today is a new day as a child of God. How are you going to bless the Father today? Amen. How have you blessed the Father today? Praise God. Right? What are we doing to bless the Father? Amen. I love being planted here in Open Arms Community Church because I'm surrounded by beloved children of God who come as they are. Amen. You just come as you are. There is no judgment, there's no judgment, there's no back talk, right? There's no gossiping, no grumbling. Hallelujah. Listen, God already cleaned that out. Amen. In Jesus name, God removed removed the grumblers, the complainers, right? The wolves in sheep's clothing. Right? Those wolves don't get fed here in Open Arms Community Church. You know who gets fed here in Open Arms Community Church? Worshipers. Amen. Worshipers that bless Holy Spirit, that, that, is, that is consumed and focused in the anointing in what Lord Jesus Christ did on that cross. It's consumed as far as the Father's love for a beloved son, a perfect son, to sacrifice that son, to sacrifice that son for sinners. Amen? And that's you, that's me. That we come to that realization that, Father, I need you. I'm sorry. And now we know in that exchange, right, that old dead self is gone. Hallelujah. 
It's crucified in Christ. Remember, that's our sacrifice. Father, I offer it to you. Amen? I offer the hurt. I offer the pain. I offer to you the addiction. I offer to you the adultery. I offer to you the, the rebellion. I offer to you the backbiting, the gossip, whatever it is. Father God, I offer it to you. I don't want it no more. And glory to God, because of Lord Jesus Christ, only because of this one perfect man, our God, Agape, the Holy Son, Lord Jesus Christ, he says, mine, son. I'll take it, and now I bless you with my peace. Amen? And Holy Spirit wants to bless you with that peace tonight. Praise God. So regardless of what you're going through and what, you know, the day has been, amen, yes, we're thankful. Hallelujah. Be thankful for every breath, amen, because that breath God has breathed into your body, into the temple of Holy Spirit, God has blessed you with the anointing to do a mighty work for Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So we're going to pick up in what Lord Jesus Christ wants to talk about as far as the inheritance and impartation. Amen. Now remember, when, when we discussed this on Sunday, we touched on in Genesis as far as how Brother Abraham, right, how old he was. I mean, he was in his 70s when he was called into the ministry. And don't you love that about our God? Is that he picks those that just have a willing heart. Amen? He doesn't pick those who may appear qualified, right? He doesn't pick people by the way they look. Huh, praise God, look at me, right? He doesn't pick people by their qualifications on paper. Rebuke all that. He picks his beloved children based on their heart. So last time I checked, where did we receive Lord Jesus Christ into our life? Amen? Right? Come into my heart. Come into my life. Amen? And now this is the Holy of Holies for Holy Spirit. Amen? So you got to think as far as when he was called into the ministry, he was in his 70s. And we just, we, we just touched on that momentarily and I wasn't released to, to, to teach about or to preach about it because Holy Spirit didn't want to say nothing. And we know Holy Spirit's our only teacher, so here we are now discussing that. Isn't it incredible that here is a man who has a willing heart, amen, here I am, remember, here I am, and for God to say, you are going to be the father of many nations. But yet here he is in his innocence to say, but I don't have a child. My wife, she's old. I mean, I'm, you know how old I am. Lord, right? But then God says, it shall be, amen? How many of you believe with all your heart that when God speaks a word, hallelujah, that word comes back, blessings, healing, restoration, breakthrough, hallelujah, new season, amen? Fresh anointing. When God speaks a word, hallelujah, and you just have ears, remember, Holy Spirit in you is always listening. Praise God, just like from the beginning, before this earth was created. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit in you is listening. And by faith, when you hear the word of God and you say, so shall it be, Father, so be it. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And this is where God wants us to pick up. We're going to be in Genesis chapter 21. Hallelujah. And we're going to touch on that. We're going to move over to chapter 22. Now the Lord was gracious, verse 1, now the Lord was gracious to Sarah, as he had said, and the Lord did for Sarah what he had promised. Sarah became pregnant and bore a son to Abraham in his old age. At the very time God had promised him, Abraham gave him the name Isaac to the son Sarah bore him. When his son Isaac was eight days old, Abraham circumcised him as God commanded him. Abraham was... A hundred years old when his son Isaac was born to him. Hallelujah. So let's pause right there. Amen. The promise of God was heard by faith in a beloved child of God. Say with me, here I am. And God Almighty speaks the blessing, speaks the anointing over his beloved child. Amen. Just like 
right now at this moment. God is speaking a blessing over your life, a new season over your life, amen? A healing in your life, praise God. Hallelujah, say it with me, new season, amen? Now let me ask you this. He already experienced salvation because he experienced the born again nature of God. Hallelujah. When you call upon Lord Jesus Christ, amen, when you call upon Lord Jesus Christ, you are, glory to God, born again. And you have a new name. Hallelujah. Amen. You have a new name. Amen. And glory to God, that name is in Lord Jesus Christ. Right? You're, you are his. I am property of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am a servant of God. I am a son of God. Amen. I am a child of God. Beloved daughter, say it. I am a daughter of God. Speak it out. I am a child of God. God paid for you and me to be his. Amen. So Abraham received the same anointing that we have, but the glory of God for our lives at this time, amen, year 2020, is that Lord Jesus Christ, the perfect one, hallelujah, the Messiah, Lord Jesus Christ came already. He died. He took it on that cross. And glory to God, he rose again through the anointing of Holy Spirit and is seated at the right hand of God. Amen. And he is our advocate. Hallelujah. He is our Lord, our Savior. Glory to God. And he is the one that intercedes for us. Praise God. And it's in his mighty and holy name that we receive anything good and perfect from God our Father through the anointing of Holy Spirit in you and in me. Amen. So I know that a lot of this is, is a quick review, but what God wants to bring forth is, did the blessing take place overnight? Amen? You just heard Holy Spirit speak it through Pastor John this past Saturday night, right? To leave the past behind you. Hallelujah! But isn't it like the enemy? To remind you of yesterday? To remind you of what didn't take place yet? Isn't it just like Satan himself to remind you of all the things that are wrong? And I love what Holy Spirit said through pastor and it echoes for all of eternity. Even if I walk and it doesn't look right, I'm going to thank God that that mountain is removed. Hallelujah. I'm going to thank God for the blessing. I'm going to thank God that it's already done. Hallelujah. And I believe that with all my heart, that brother Abraham believed that with all of his heart. In year one up to year 25. Because remember, at 75 years old, he was promised a child. My question to you, beloved church family, is this. Do we give up on God after a year one of not seeing the blessing? I pray not. Do we give up on God after a week? You see, it's moments like this that God is just Begging us, yes. Look at Jesus on the cross. Look at my son. Look at how much I love you. And my Holy Spirit will bless you with peace where you're no longer going to be anxious. You're no longer going to be worried. You're no longer going to be consumed about the blessing because you know the blesser. You trust the blesser. Amen? Hallelujah. Let's just give God praise. Hallelujah. <coughs> so we're going to... We're going to fast forward, praise God. There's so much more that I want to share. Amen. And isn't it incredible? Time is going by so fast. Amen. Oh, it's going by so fast. And so, this is what Holy Spirit wants me to get to. Just say it with me, be obedient. Amen. We'll just start in verse 1. Sometime later, God tested Abraham. He said to, he said to Abraham, Abraham, and I love this. Oh, I love it so much. Abraham says, here I am. Then God said, take your son, your only son. Sound familiar? 
Take your son, your only son. Right? Who's God's only son? Huh? That left heaven, come to this world to save us. Who's God's only begotten son, only perfect sacrifice that did everything perfect, but yet took all the sins, became the curse so that we wouldn't be, that we don't have to live in curses, that we live in the blessing, that we live in the grace. Hallelujah. Many of you keep saying it. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now listen, look at what God says to Abraham. And, and, and I pray in Jesus' name, yeah, the, the, the scripture's going to come up on the screen and all that, praise God. But I pray beyond that, right, beyond the words, beyond that, get into worship with Holy Spirit and allow Holy Spirit to take you to this moment as I read this. Abraham said, here I am, he replied, verse 2, then God said, take your son, your only son, Isaac, whom you love, and go to the region of Moriah. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on one of these mountains I will tell you about. Early the next morning, Abraham got up and saddled his donkey. He took with him two of his servants and his son Isaac. When he had cut enough wood for the burnt offering, he set out for the place God had told him about. On the third day, Abraham looked up and saw the place in the distance. He said to his servants, stay here with the donkey while I and the boy go over there. We will worship and then we will come back to you. Pause. There's, there's much that took place from the moment that God spoke to Abraham, Abraham and said, take your son, your only son, the one you love and sacrifice him in this place that I'm going to reveal to you. And this journey took three days. Does it remind you of someone who went to hell for three days to save your soul and my soul? Three days, right? We cannot imagine what Brother Abraham was going through when he heard the word because is not the promises from thy seed in what we just discussed this past Sunday? And see, don't you love that regardless what God asked of Abraham, he knows I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, Father, because you are God Almighty and this world has nothing on me. And you know what I love is that he brought servants with him. Amen. It said, we just read that right there. And many people ask, why did he bring? Personally, I just think he just needed fellowship. Amen. Fellowship. I really believe that with all my heart. That it was fellowship with these servants that had the same faith. That would pick him up, that would lift him up. You know, because you could just imagine the torment that this brother felt when they were just walking for three days, waiting to hear from God where to go to kill my son. Wouldn't you think that God would say, all right, this is it, right? But God said, it's going to take three days. He didn't even know. Right? He, once again, he didn't even know. You're talking about a brother that waited for the blessing to manifest 25 years later after he was called into the ministry. And now that the blessing is here with him, amen? Now that his boy is here, hallelujah, everything's gooder and gooder, amen? Here's Father God saying, take what you love. Sacrifice him. Abraham took the wood and the burnt offering and placed it on his son Isaac. And he himself carried the fire and the knife. 
As the two of them went on together, Isaac spoke up and said to his father, Father, Abraham said, Yes, my son. The fire and wood are here, Isaac said, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? I'm going to pause right there. We're going to continue on, but I'm going to pause right there. We have to remember the power of the words that we speak because God lives in you and God lives in me. We are his children, amen? The word of God says that we are the temple of Holy Spirit. Do not play games with Holy Spirit. Amen? God knows everything. Amen? And you cannot play games. Do not mock God. That is a stern warning, beloved church family. Be transparent with God. Amen? Yes, God loves you. He's a good and perfect father. Hallelujah? But God also knows if you truly want a relationship with him or if you just want to act the part and mock him. Do not play games with Holy Spirit. And the reason why I say that is because God wants to echo, once again, say that word with me, echo, echo this again. When Abraham spoke to his servants, he told both his servants, me and my son, we're going to go and worship. But listen, listen to this in verse 5. He said, we will worship and then we will come back. That is the first, first time that you hear Abraham in this, in this momentary season of a test. Now when I say in this moment, this, it's about to take place now. Amen? God is taking you back there, right? The donkeys roped up, amen? Getting everything ready for the sacrifice. The two guys, right? The two brothers are right there going, what else can we do? You know, can we help you out, bro? What do you want us to do? No, just stay here. We're going to go up there. We're going to worship. But we will be back. Is that the kind of faith right now you have in Christ? That no matter what your medical report may say, your bank account looks like, your marriage looks like, your kids are acting, God is asking, do you have that kind of faith that blesses God to say, I see what this looked like. I see that we got the wood set aside. I'm holding the fire. I see what it looks like, but we will be back. Hallelujah. Say it with me. We will be back. You see, the glory of God in you and in me is, can you look past all the distractions and speak the blessing? Amen? Can I get an amen? Hallelujah! Praise God! And then check this out. We're going to pick up where we left off. Abraham starts talking to his father going, look, Dad, I see that we got everything, but we're missing something. And then this is what Abraham says. God himself, verse 8, verse 8. God himself will provide the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. And the two of them went on together. Hallelujah. 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 Let's just give God praise. Amen. You see, our God is a relationship God. He is the only God. Hallelujah. God the Father, God the Son, God Holy Spirit. Amen. Agape. And the reason for this message, and just to, um, j just to bless Holy Spirit as far as in the impartation. Say that with me. Impartation. God wants to do an impartation over every soul, hallelujah, that has Lord Jesus Christ sealed by his holy blood and who is willing to be a living sacrifice. Amen? A living sacrifice. You see, our Heavenly Father, he's not a distant God. Amen? From the very beginning of time, he has always been a good and perfect father who loves us. We were the ones that turned our back on God. And if you look at this day and age right now, it's, it's, the, it's worser and worser. Why? It's the fallen world. It's a fallen world. And the glory of God is he's coming back for us really soon. 
See, our Father is a relationship God. He's a faith God, right? He's a faith God. Do you believe and do you speak? Amen? The same way that you got saved from the pit of hell and now you are in the kingdom of heaven. I believe in my heart. I need a Savior. I call on you, Lord Jesus Christ. I know that I am saved. I know that when that horn goes off, that trumpet sounds, amen, I know that I will be in your presence and I will have to answer to my Lord Jesus Christ, amen? And glory to God that he is our advocate. Hallelujah, that Holy Spirit, Holy Sp say his name, Holy Spirit will continue to, to comfort us, to bless us, to give us wisdom, to coach us, to guide us, to lead us, to direct us, to push evil far, far, far away from us, for his light to shine and expose all of the distractions of the enemy, to charge all the angels in heaven to fight for us and to protect us, amen? And the glory of God is, is that no matter what takes place, he is expecting a relationship with him. My question to you is, do you have this relationship with God? Amen? Are, 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 you, are you completely open to God the Father? Amen? Is there something in your life that is grabbing your attention far too often? Or maybe something that you're running to? God is asking, will you sacrifice it? Will you sacrifice it? You see, this was a heart check in Brother Abraham's moment in his life. See, the, the, the beauty of the gospel, the beauty of the Bible from front to back, hallelujah, the beauty of Holy Spirit is when you read the written word of God, Holy Spirit, our only teacher, God Almighty, will reveal to us as his holy church, his beloved children, the magnitude of faith in Christ Jesus. Because you see, it wasn't just Abraham in love with his seed that God has blessed him with, right? His son Isaac, oh my goodness. You could just imagine, just a good and perfect father, our father God, just how much he loves Lord Jesus Christ, amen? But yet to call upon Abraham and for Abraham to follow through. See, we're done going over the scripture, but what Holy Spirit wants us to say is this. You see, he built that altar. He piled up all the wood exactly how God wanted it. He bound up his son. Can you imagine? The whole time Isaac is saying, what are we doing? What are you doing, Dad? Don't you love me, Dad? Why are you doing this? And you could just hear Abraham going, son, it's going to be all right. It's going to be okay. But what do you mean it's going to be okay? Why are you tying me up? Where's the sacrifice? What's going on? He puts him on that altar. The word of God says. He gets ready to carry out the act. Amen. Say it with me. But God. Hallelujah. You see God knows our heart. God knows if it's just an act. Right. God knows if you're trying to act religious. God knows if Abraham was just trying to act. But God saw his heart, that it's all about you, God. That even if this knife struck him, you are God Almighty, and you'll bring him back. You are God Almighty, you'll do something. And glory to God, the angel stopped everything. And then you know, the sacrifice was provided by God our Father, amen? And that sacrifice, beloved church family, that sacrifice was God's son. Our Lord Jesus Christ. So because of that sacrifice, the impartation was manifested. Amen? And that's where God has us right now as his beloved children. Hallelujah. If you feel down, broken, hurt, tormented, whatever is going on, 
God is saying, will you give that to me? Is he not worthy? Hallelujah. I pray that this message blessed you today. And I thank God. I thank God. I thank God that he would bless Abraham the way he did. Just to see the heart of a faithful son. And for Abraham, Abraham to carry that out. And for God to say, if you are willing to do this to Isaac, I am willing to do it to Lord Jesus Christ. Right? And by the grace of God, we know. Amen? We know. That our Lord Jesus Christ is perfect. That he is forgiving. Amen? That he is merciful. Hallelujah. And that he deposit grace in every child of his. His name is Holy Spirit. And I pray in Jesus' name that Holy Spirit right now, within you, is just flowing through your heart. And his light is shining through you, through your entire family. Hallelujah. Through wherever you go in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for your perfect sacrifice. Our Lord Jesus Christ. It's all because of you, Lord Jesus. It's all because of you, Lord Jesus Christ, that we have life, that we have breath. Holy Spirit, you are our breath, and we worship you and thank you. Father God, thank you for who you are, that your agape is overflowing. And Father God, thank you that as your light shines, Father, we plead your holy blood, Lord Jesus Christ, and we thank you, Holy Spirit, that all your angels go before us, pushing evil far, far, far away from us, cutting off every foul thing, Father. I thank you so much, Father God, that Open Arms Community Church, your holy church, Father God, is in the palm of your hand. We are covered by your blood, Lord Jesus Christ. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, that we are unified in you. That all we do, Father God, is lift up your name, Lord Jesus Christ, and bless your holy presence. Father, I thank you so much. I speak a fresh impartation from Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you are our teacher. You are our counselor. You are our God. You are our agape, our light shining. And Father, we are overwhelmed by you. And we're so thankful, Father, because all we want is your presence. So Father God, I just thank you for your blessing and your anointing. And it's all to glorify you, Lord Jesus Christ. We want none of it. It's all for you, Lord Jesus Christ. In your holy and precious name we pray. And all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. Woo! God bless you guys. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you're sitting beside your wife, your husband, family, your pets, or whatever, Holy Spirit just said, do this real quick. Just look at them. Look at them in the eyes. You can hear my voice, but look at each other. Don't look at me. Praise God. Just look at each other. And just look in their eyes and say, I love you for eternity. All because of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. I love you, beloved church family. Praise God. Oh, I just thank God for you. Trish and I, we pray for you all the time. And we're just so thankful for you all. Praise God. Let's just keep blessing God. Hallelujah. Love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Amen. And so Holy Spirit, hallelujah, say his name. Holy Spirit will overflow on the inside, and we love one another. Amen. God bless you guys. God loves you. God is good all the time. Just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. Mwah. Love you guys.